Hello and welcome to another math video. In this video we're looking to solve for x. We got 16 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x is equal to 0. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to rewrite 16 and 8 as 2 to their respective powers. So uh, 16 will be turned into 2 to the power 4. And that'll be to the power of x. And then we got minus 2 to the power of 3 for 8 to the power of x is equal to 0. Before we get any further, please subscribe and like so I can keep making more videos. And uh, comment down below with any video suggestions. So now that we've done that, we can multiply our exponents. So we'll have 2 to the power of 4x minus 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 0. Now... What we're going to do is factor out an x from 4x. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 3x plus x minus 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 0. Now what we can do with that is we can use some exponent properties. So we have exponent property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. That's a tongue twister. So that means that we can rewrite our equation to look like this. We can have 2 to the power of 3x times 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of 3x equals 0. Now, why that is good for us is we can now factor out a 2 to the power of 3x, which will look like this, multiplied by our 2 to the power of x minus 1, and again, that is all equal to 0. Now that we have done that, we can simply solve for 0 by setting both sides equal to 0. Because if either the 2 to the power of 3x or 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0, then the whole equation is equal to 0. So the first thing we got is 2 to the power of 3x cannot equal 0. And that can't equal 0 because anything to a power of anything will not make it equal to 0. So that being said, let's solve for 0 for the other side. So we have 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 0. We can add 1 to both sides. We have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now an important property to remember is that if we had a to the power of b is equal to a to the power of c. Now if that's true, that means that b is equal to c. So what we want to do is make it so the bases, or a, or for this case, 2 is our a, we want them to both be 2. Now we also know that anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So that means we can rewrite this 1 as 2 to the power of 0 which means it'll be 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 0. And as mentioned before, since our bases are the same, x is simply equal to 0. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like, and stay tuned for more videos.